So you're adding chemicals to your hot tub, but it just won't balance. You just can't get it right. Whether we're talking about the sanitizer, the chlorine or the bromine, whether we're talking about shock or whether we're talking about pH and or alkalinity, you just can't seem to get it right and it's driving you crazy. Well, guess what? Today in this video, we are going to solve that problem for you. I guarantee it. Hi, my name is Jeff from Hot Tub Owner HQ, and I'm glad you're here with me. So possible mistake number one, you might be adding your chemicals or testing the water in the wrong order. You've got to deal with the alkalinity before you deal with anything else. Everything else comes second to that. Alkalinity measures the ability of your water to neutralize acid. And if your alkalinity is way off, the other measurements of your water chemistry are just never going to be very very accurate. So always get that alkalinity right first, then the pH, and then the sanitizer. Now I know alkalinity and pH are connected. I know if you have one that's too high and one that's too low, that can be very hard to deal with also. I do have another video though that deals with that specific issue. So if you want to check that out, check that out right up here. pH, of course, is the measure of the acidity in the water. But once you've got your alkalinity set, and then you've got your pH set, then sanitize the water. You can use chlorine or bromine. You can use powder. You can use tablets or in some cases liquid. What I prefer, and you know this if you've seen any of my other videos, is bromine tablets in a floater. That way I can just kind of set it and forget it and just refill that thing once a week and I don't have to worry about weekly adjustments. Always test your water though with the jets off. And if you've added any chemicals, wait at least 20 minutes after adding them before you test your water again. It's also worth noting though that not every brand of test strip delivers accurate results. That's why I always talk about the Poolmaster test strips, which is what I use, and I'll link to that down in the description in case you want to try a different one. But of course, you can also take a sample of your water to Leslie's Pool Supply, and they'll test it for you for free and give you a full report on what you need to do. Of course, they want you to buy their chemicals to adjust it with. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that because you can find comparable products on Amazon for a lot less, but it is an option if you're struggling. Possible mistake number two, adding chemicals too close together. Now, I don't mean you can't add like a pH reducer and your sanitizer within a few minutes of each other, but let's say you test your water and the alkalinity is too high and you add some spa down kind of product to lower that alkalinity. Wait at least 20 minutes, as I mentioned a minute ago, before you do any more testing or adjusting. You've got to give that chemical time to circulate throughout the entire hot tub so that you can then get an accurate reading on it. And I always recommend turning the jets on while you're circulating that water. I just don't recommend putting the cover on while you're doing that because sometimes the chemicals can spray up onto the underside of the cover and prematurely cause it to wear. And possible mistake number three, not accounting for how hot the temperature of your hot tub's water is. Hot water can destroy chlorine a lot faster than medium water or colder water. And what you might be finding is that you just keep adding chlorine, 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 and it just never seems to be enough. It's always low when you dip a test strip in. That's one of the reasons why I use bromine, because it can handle the heat of a hot tub far better than chlorine can. And if you do use chlorine for your sanitizer, and especially if you're using powder, you're going to need to add that to your hot tub probably every two or three days. And even if you want to stick with chlorine and not use bromine, I would still recommend one inch chlorine tablets in a floater because you could put four or five in there and set it in the hot tub and probably not need to add any more for another week. But generally speaking, the higher you have your hot tub set to, the more frequently you may find that you have to test and adjust your water. And of course, right now it's summertime here in Central Texas. I actually have my hot tub set to 80, but it's not reading anywhere near that cold, obviously. But I did do a recent video where I kind of walked you through a ninja tip I found in adjusting my water temperature so that it wasn't so scalding hot here in Central Texas in summertime. And if you want to watch that video, check it out right up here. And possible mistake number four, not paying attention to what your water source is. I'm lucky in that I have a city water source. And yes, it's got a little bit of chlorine added to it. And it does tend to be a little on the hard side, meaning calcium levels. But I have a water softener system that reduces the calcium levels. And my hose does go through that system. But you might be on well water, which not only can have extremely hard water, again, meaning high calcium levels, but it might have high levels of mineral content too, like iron. And the mineral content especially can interfere with sanitizers. So what I would do in both of those cases is recommend that you use a mineral reducer 
and a calcium reducer. I'm going to link to my favorite products of those down in the description. But if your test strips don't measure for calcium and minerals, and you do indeed use well water, I would absolutely recommend getting a test strip that measures for those things. And I'll link to one of those down in the description as well. One of the easiest ways to know if you have a lot of mineral content in your water is when you add chlorine, either powdered sanitizer or powdered or liquid shock, does the water turn green for a little bit? Now, if we're talking about a reaction to iron or copper, it won't stay green. But if it does turn green for a little bit, I'm talking maybe five, 10 minutes, and then it dissipates, that means you do have high mineral content in your water and you may very well want to reduce that to make the sanitizers more effective. Now, one thing I do want to talk about that could make your life extremely easy is the crystal water monitor system. I did a recent video on that where I walk you through a complete unboxing and setup. You can check that out right up here. But it's that little device right up there. That white little round thing has a cable that goes down into the filter compartment where it's constantly testing the water. It knows 24 seven, every few minutes, exactly what my water chemistry is. And then with the app on my phone, I can pull up in real time exactly what I need to add and exactly how much of it I need to add to get perfect water. It's a really simple system. It's available on Amazon. I will link to that down below as well. But if you really want a simple set it and forget it kind of system, I do highly recommend that. And the really cool part is you can tell it exactly which brands of chemicals that you use. That way it knows exactly what's in those chemicals. And when it tells you to add two tablespoons of that or one teaspoon of that, it knows exactly what what you're putting in your water to make it perfect. But the last thing I want to talk about to get your water to balance properly is not changing the water in your hot tub frequently enough. I change my hot tub water about every three months. If you rarely use your hot tub, you might be able to get away with every six months. But I've talked to people who don't even change their hot tub water once a year, and that is crazy. And the older and the dirtier the water is, and I know you're adding chemicals to sanitize it. I know you've got filters and hopefully you're cleaning those, but still, water that has been in your hot tub for a year is dirty and no amount of filtration, no amount of sanitizer is going to completely clear that up. And dirty old water is going to be much harder to get balanced correctly than fresh water from your garden hose. So change your water, I would say somewhere in between every three months and every six months, depending upon the number of people that use it and how often it gets used. And if you're struggling, always err on the lower side of that range. Anyway, I hope this video helps you. Again, it's Jeff from Hot Tub Owner HQ. You can also find a lot of answers on my website at that same address. But I'll see you in the next video.